Hello world, Watsonator here, and today I am bringing you a Risk of Rain 2 video in order to show you how to unlock two of Commando's abilities as well as complete the Long Road achievement all in one run while utilizing a super fun build. I figured if I'm going to be streaming Risk of Rain 2 and making videos, I better not look like a scrub, I should go ahead and unlock everything that I possibly can. So I did a challenge run last night to try and unlock a big chunk of these achievements and unlocks, uh, and it turned out pretty great. So uh, this video will also serve as a recording test for my new PC with the current sound levels, editing software, OBS settings, YouTube, all that good stuff. So for that reason, it's not going to have much editing. It might sound or look a little terrible, but hopefully all of that will improve. So today we will be completing the achievements Rolling Thunder, Incorruptible, and The Long Road. This will unlock Commando's alternate secondary, Phase Blast, as well as his alternate special, Frag Grenade. The Long Road achievement will unlock the legendary item 57 Leaf Clover. So, to do this, we need to clear 20 stages as Commando without picking up any looter items, and also we need to make sure to land the killing blow on an overloading worm. You can also attempt to complete any other achievements you might not yet have done. Uh, for example, in this run, I think I complete the purchase six turrets in one run challenge. So if you have something simple you think you might be able to sort of tack on there, uh, just be smart and uh, you might be able to kill many birds with one stone. In order to have this amazing build, you're going to need to have Artifact of Command unlocked. Uh, it's pretty easy to do, and I might go over this in a different video. Um, I'm also running this on easy or the drizzle difficulty, since this is an unlock run, and to be honest, I'm still a bit of a noob at this game, so uh, yeah. I did not expect to actually start recording randomly during this run, so you'll see that I'm actually about to hop into level 17 already. Uh, from about stages 5 to 14, you will absolutely obliterate everything, and it should not be too difficult if you have enough Will o' the Wisps and Lensmakers classes. Uh, early on, you will likely want to get some Pulse Goat Hoofs and Energy Drinks to move around the stage quickly and collect your build pieces. Uh, you basically just want to collect as many Will o' the Wisps as possible and max out your lens ma Lensmakers glasses around 10. Uh, one ukulele and hoppo feather is highly recommended, uh, as well as a predatory instincts, berserker's pauldron, and wax quail, if you have those last three unlocked. If you don't, don't worry about it. Moving into the later stages, topaz brooches, tougher times, and repulsion armor plates are needed for a bit of survivability. Also grab a couple of soldier syringes and tri-tip daggers. Finally, you'll want to use Royal Capacitor with a few fuel cells to pump out some burst damage. Everything else up top is pretty much just preferential and things that I like to have in any run. So from here, I will go ahead and just speed up the rest of the footage and show you just how great this build can be. Thank you. 
As you can see, this build was able to complete those achievements without too much fuss. Uh, I think if I was a better player and did not dilly-dally a lot in the first few levels, it would have been a much easier task. But yeah, that's it. That's the run. So uh, please come on over to twitch.tv slash Watsonator to tell me how much of a noob I am, or for some more Risk of Rain 2 action. See ya.